good news for everyone as you guys know in my next live stream i am going to be conducting a giveaway and the winner will be getting one elite honor pass but one of my fans reached out to me and was willing to sponsor one more honor pass for you guys so the reward has been increased from one to two so if you want to know when the live stream is going to happen so that you don't miss out on it please join the discord server the link will be there in the description and the pinned comment and good luck to all the people Let's see who the two winners are. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to play Mulan. Mulan is the hardest warrior as of now in honor of kings to play and she has six abilities. The dual wielding form where she has two small swords and if you use the ult she will get the giant sword the heavy sword and uh, all her abilities will be different for both the forms so in this video i'm going to teach you guys how to play her and what are all the different combos that you can try with her and how you can effectively use all of her abilities okay with that being said let's get right into the video okay so let's start with the passive of mulan so whenever Mulan is in the dual wielding form where she has two small swords any of her abilities or auto attacks will place a mark on the enemy. See this is the mark. See below the feet of the puppet 1, 2, 3, 4 and if you attack them for the fifth time see it will silence the enemy and they will also take some additional damage okay. And then you can do it again after. Uh, sometimes so if you do it on an enemy see there is a cooldown below their feet once the circle is fully done only then you will be able to place your mark on them again so while it is there if you keep attacking them you won't place any marks okay so keep that in mind so you can activate your passive and attack them to deal more damage like every one two three four five okay so for every five second you can trigger this passive and deal damage to them not only uh, the auto attacks but also her abilities can trigger the passive so let's throw her second ability see it's triggering the passive and see we are able to do it also her first ability see if you actually hit the enemy with your first ability you will trigger the passive okay so the first ability can give you a maximum of two stacks just like this if you dash through the enemy see 4 and 1 auto attack will be 5 the second ability will give you 4 stacks as well 1 2 3 4 and yeah you have to do one more auto attack to trigger the passive so if you use first ability and second ability while in the small sword form you will place a mark on the enemy and the marks will trigger additional damage so this is going to be one of the most important tips for you guys you have to always try to trigger that passive when she is in the heavy sword form her attack speed will be low but her damage will be high see we are dealing 865 damage per hit but in the smaller form 577 577 577 so that is the damage increase when you use the heavy sword okay so now I'm only going to focus on the abilities in her double sword form so the first ability is a dash so if you hold your movement cursor in any particular direction she will dash again see right now I didn't hold it in any direction so he so she automatically dashed but see here she didn't dash anywhere it's a small dash right but if you use your movement cursor and pull it in any specific direction it will be a very big dash let me show you even if you are using the ability behind and if you are pulling the movement cursor the other way she will still dash like whichever direction you want her to go with your movement cursor so it's basically a dash two times first dash is con controlled by this uh, ability second dash is controlled by your movement uh, cursor so yeah that is how you have to use you can use it to go through an enemy and once you hit an enemy you will be able to use it again within 5 seconds okay so even if the cooldown is turned off look at this turned on look at this so i hit the enemy 
see it appears again so within 5 seconds I can use it once again before it goes into a cooldown okay so in order to do that you have to hit an enemy it can also be a creep okay so if you are uh, trying to escape from an enemy and they are chasing you instead of using the dash here and then trying to run you are better off using your dash right here so that you can do the dash two times and run far away okay so keep that in mind when using your first ability the second ability she will throw her sword and it will go and it will keep spinning in that location for 3 seconds and the ability cooldown will be really long but if you throw it and before the end of 3 seconds if you go close to it you can pick it up again and you can throw it once again ok so that is how it works if you get the ability back in your hand uh, the cooldown of the ability will be returned by 5 seconds so see it's 7, 6 and immediately 1 and I got it ok so that is the second ability in the dual wielding form and this is her ultimate once you click her ultimate she will uh, take the heavy sword and switch to this form and all her abilities will be different now see as you can see all her abilities will be different in the dual wield uh, like heavy sword form ok so now let's talk about the first ability in the heavy sword form she will charge and launch an attack with a heavy sword dealing more damage the longer you are holding so if you click the ability again she will launch the attack and you saw how much damage we dealt there right let's turn off the cooldown for now so 514 if i charge it for a long time see 1500 what happens if i charge it all the way 2500 look at the damage difference guys for just attacking like this it's just 500 but if you hold for some time 1500 but if you hold for the full duration 2500 it's 5 times more damage also just like her uh, other forms first ability if you hit an enemy with it see it will be available for you once again and you can use it within 5 seconds and only after that it will go into cooldown ok and one more thing about this ability is if you just tap it immediately it just stuns the enemy for a second if you attack an enemy after holding it for 0 uh, 0.75 seconds it will be a small stun but if you charge it long enough you can actually knock them and uh, they will be sent flying backwards see the puppet is actually flying backwards if i hold it for very long so it's very hard to land this ability because once you charge this the enemies will start running away but if you manage to connect it to an enemy they are surely dead that is how much damage she deals now the second ability in her alt form is she will attack four times and each time she will knock the enemy back so whichever direction you are going to give it she will start attacking you cannot cancel it with your movement cursor you can also not cancel it with your attacks you can only cancel it by using your other abilities okay so keep that in mind and this is what happens one two three four and if you attack an enemy like this look at one two three four so i i knocked him back four times and mid dash they won't be able to do anything while you are attacking them like this so this is a very powerful crowd control ability and then of course her ultimate if you click it she will switch back to the dual wielding form where she has two swords okay now whenever you use any of your abilities in the heavy sword form see cc immune again cc immune so this is very good against crowd control if the enemy is like having a lot of crowd control you can use this form and uh, you will be able to use your crowd control immunity and they won't be able to stun you while you are using abilities not only that when you are using abilities in this form you also get 40% damage reduction so i will show you that now let's see how much damage this tower deals to me 486 right let's see again okay 486 but watch what happens when i use the ability okay wait i missed it see 291 only not only the first ability the second ability also see 291 but normally i would take 486 damage so whenever you are in this form the heavy sword form and you use your abilities not only do you get crowd control immunity but also you get 40 percent damage reduction okay but your movement speed will be slow and your attack speed will also be slow 
but you will still deal more damage. Okay, now let's talk about both the ultimates. If you switch to the dual wielding form, your attack speed will be increased by 60% for the next 5 seconds. So as you can see, whenever you switch, there is a red color bar, right? It is slowly going down. So that bar will indicate the power up and how long it is going to last. So when you switch, your attack speed will be very high for 60 seconds. Okay, and your movement speed also will be high. So when she switches from dual wielding form to heavy sword form, what happens is she will deal more damage. See, normally we are only dealing 865, but when we switch for the next 5 seconds, our damage will be really high. Not just the auto attack damage, but also the ability damage. So let's see how much damage the first ability deals. Okay, so 3300, but without the buff, 2500 only so immediately when you switch you will start dealing more damage the second ability also 875 per hit but without the buff 676 only so whenever you switch forms you are really strong in this form you get high attack speed but in this form you get more damage okay so keep that in mind so those are all the abilities of Mulan now the important part how to use her and what combos you can do how to engage on an enemy so let me show you first how to engage so usually you will be in this form only turn off the cooldown so this is the form in which you have to be always don't be in the heavy sword form this is the form you have to come into the fight so you have to come like this use your first ability and attack the enemy trigger the passive okay and it will silence them so that is the first step first step so what is it attack them two times like this and trigger the passive okay so this is the first uh, thing that you have to do so this is for normally attacking an enemy okay next let's talk about the second one you have to use your second ability also for this attack throw your second ability behind them and then keep attacking so even if they run backwards they will still get hit by it okay does that make sense so attack throw your second ability and then attack with your first ability again if they try to run they will get hit by the second ability and get slowed down okay so this is the second part now the complete part guys so this is the third part attack second ability attack form switch second ability two times how was that so this is the ultimate combo of Mulan so what I am doing is pay attention you have to be in this form so first ability second ability first ability again alt form second ability okay this time I was not very fast but you have to be very fast in order to be able to in order to be able to use the second ability to two times as you know if you throw your second ability and if you go and collect it again it will give your cooldown back right it will also give the cooldown back of your ultimate second ability so look at this and when I collected it see the second ability is available once again so that is like magic guys so throw your second ability turn to your ultimate form and then collect it with that form this form will also get the ability back so that is how you can stun them two times in a row so place them like this be in this form attack throw attack second ability collect it and attack again see this is the best combo and then you can follow it up with this ability if they are still there okay so this is the best combo for her and it will be very hard to land that combo normally but you have to practice and you will get a hang of it one more tip for how to play Mulan if you are in this form let's say this is the support right and this is the marksman the marksman is standing behind the support so you can actually use the support as a launch pad and then dash onto the marksman because when you hit an enemy the ability will be reset right the first ability even if they are that far away look at this see we were able to reach them and you have you can attack the marksman as planned so see our combo worked out perfectly right there so okay guys so that is a very important tip for you guys always use you can also use the minion so if an enemy is standing right here let's say and you have this creep right so use this creep to jump onto the enemy and do the combo okay successfully stunned him a lot of times also in order to make sure that you hit your second ability you have to first silence them let me show you so the enemy is here 
and in this form if you attack an enemy five times you will silence them right so it will be very easy to attack them if they are silenced so usually when you switch the form let me show you when you switch to this form and try to attack them they will use their flicker or they will use their uh, dash abilities to run away and you will be missing the ability right but for that only you have to silence them with your other abilities and once they are silenced quickly switch the form and start attacking them because when they are silenced they cannot use flicker they cannot use dashes right so use that to your advantage okay so when you are in this this form attack them silence them and then switch form and start attacking okay so that will make sure that you won't be like swinging your sword like an idiot on some other direction when the enemy is standing over there so in order to do that silence the enemy first and when they are silenced quickly change the form and attack them before the silence goes away because no one will want to get attacked by you they will immediately try to escape from you okay so these are all the tips that i can give you so for normal engage this is how you engage before level 4 this is how you have to fight attack first throw the second ability always behind them so that when they try to run away they get hit by it okay and then retreat come back and after 5 seconds go back and attack them because only then that passive will be back okay so you have to maximize your damage when it's on cooldown don't fight but when it's out of cooldown go immediately do 5 attacks silence them and deal additional damage and then come away okay i am pretty sure i've give you enough tips for uh, mulan the other things you can now you know all her abilities right you can go and try her out and figure out more so if you found this video helpful please make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button guys because uh, this is a high effort video uh, and i would really appreciate all the support okay and this is the build that i'm using i'm not going to go deep into it so you can just copy this so that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button i hope you all have a really great day and i'll see you guys in the next video